fantastic result tonight. Um, just driving down the Holloway Road. Um, yeah, the, the football was sublime. The passing was unbelievable in the first half. One-touch football is it's the best I've seen for a few years. Such good uh, one-touch football. And we, could have, we, we had a few chances in the first half. We should have been one or two nil up. But I was really worried in the second half. I thought when the uh, individual mistake happened, I thought, oh, no, we're not going to come back and we're going to lose one nil or maybe get a draw. But such resilience from the team. There's a bit of a steeliness about us now. And uh, I, know, I know everyone's going to say, oh, we, we aren't playing in one. But... You know, you've got to be what's in front of you. And at the moment, we're playing absolutely brilliant. I think we're playing as good as anyone in the league, or if not the best in the league at the moment. So uh, long may that continue. You know what? I think that's quite an interesting point, Mark, because I said this a couple of weeks ago. People can take a knock at Arsenal and say, you know, they've not played anyone yet. I actually think you could have benefited from playing a Man City or a Liverpool at the moment because the way you're playing, I think you're right. I think you'd give everybody a game at the, at the moment. Um, but what about your strength in depth? For the season ahead, Ozzy's just been on. He was a United fan. He says, I'm not that worried about Arsenal because they haven't got any strength in depth if they lose a, a Jesus or anything like that. Is that something that you, you're concerned about that Arteta might solve in the next few days? What, what's your expectations? Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to see if we've got one more player, one or two more players in, but I think every club thinks that. But I think we've got, we've got a solid squad. Obviously, that's going to depend on injuries, but... You know, the, the, the two guys that come in today, Mohamed El Nidhi, you know, he played really, really well. Um, Eddie came on uh, with that 20 minutes to go. He played really well. So, yeah, we, we, maybe we haven't got strength in depth, but I think if we get the, keep some injuries free, you know, we would give anyone a real, real game at the moment, you know, whether that's Liverpool, Man City or anyone. So, you know, I don't think we'll win the league. Of course, you know, I think Man City will be too, too strong for that. But the way we're playing... I really think we'll win the Europa League. And I, I think we definitely can get in the top three. We, I, I'm definitely going to get fourth. But I really think we'd have a crack at top three at the moment. And, and at the end of the day, you can only be what's in front of you. When we're getting the points on the board, uh, you, you know, long may that continue. And, you know, success breeds success. A bit more confidence. The team look really solid at the moment. And we've had a couple of individual mistakes that dropped the goals. But apart from that, we do look solid at the back. So, uh and, and very dangerous going forward. So, you know, all Arsenal fans are going to be excited. That was a great season for um, for us coming up. No, no doubt about that. Fantastic, Mark. I tell you what, he's buzzing. He could have put... It's a shame Arsenal weren't playing 120 minutes. Put Mark in the midfield. He's buzzing off that, isn't he? And every right to be maximum points for Arsenal. 12 from 12. I did ask earlier, could Arsenal do a Leicester and win the league? And we've had a response on Twitter. Um, and it's basically this. Ralph says, are you mad? I'm no gunner, but to class a league win, to be like Leicester, you cannot be serious. Arsenal will never be a 500 to one shot to win the league, which is what Leicester was, actually. So fair point there. But it's interesting what Mark was saying that... Although, yeah, I think what I think our, any football club's problem is 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 managing expectation. We, we, Man United beat Liverpool last week, and we think we're back. Some fans, and then we weren't great against Southampton today. In fact, I, I must just go back to this. Adam uh, Scott, Southampton fan, says I personally felt Man United were very lucky today. But we definitely deserved at least a point. We played with a high tempo, and we gave Man United a game. Proud of the performance today. Come on, you Saints! And I think if we have got any Southampton fans listening in, I don't disagree with you. I, I, we'll obviously get into United a bit later, but our performance was based on um, a very, very good defence. That's what it was. Attack-wise, I don't think we offered a lot. But my point is, talking about Arsenal, I think that they were... Um, I, I think that if you look at the game, like Mark said, I think they had double the shots of Fulham, double the corners, uh, double the double massive possession. You can't, you can't knock Arsenal today and you can't knock their start to the season. I think they've been very, very, very good uh, with with what's in front of them. And I think that where they go from here is, is is about managing that expectation. Like I say, Arsenal fans, I think the majority of Arsenal fans would have loved top four and a good run in the Europa League. And I still think that that's what Arsenal have got to look for. But we will see where they end up. Um, we've got a Wolves fan coming on next. Um, not play today, Wolves, but uh, Owen, what do you want to talk about? Now then, Mark, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Um, obviously, you've uh, you've you've won one nil today. Got some Hampton, good result for you. But if I'm going to be honest, mate, I can't see you finishing above us. If I'm going to be honest. Yeah, you know what? You you play tomorrow. I, I mean, look, I, I'm, I'll defend United, of course, but um, I do think that Wolves are a bit unlucky against Southampton, not Southampton, Spurs last week. And you have got some good players. And I think if you hold on to Neto, there's a lot of... I think your problem scoring goals. I really do. Um, 
do you, you, you fancy Wolves have a good season this year? Because I, I think Wolves are very unpredictable. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, I think I think the problem we've had recently in recent years is just we can't score goals. I mean, our defence has been really good, but now we've got we've got Nunes as a brilliant midfielder. We've got um, obviously Traore back from mm. Barcelona. Jimenez is coming back, um, and then we're getting getting a couple of couple of new players inside. So I, I just I can I can see us doing really well this year. Obviously, I could be wrong, but I just don't, uh, looking looking at Man United and looking at Wolves, I don't see too much difference in terms of the quality, especially in the midfield area and, and up front. I don't I don't see too much difference between the teams. Thanks, Owen. Thanks for calling in. We are actually going to be talking more about United after the break. I've had my piece on Ronaldo. Um, are Manchester United going to struggle this season? Um, we'll also be talking about Chelsea, the sack race, a lot more. But before I do that, hmm, OK, on the live chat on YouTube says Odegaard was amazing again. What a captain. I do have him in my fantasy Premier League team as well. And uh, what a response from Liverpool, says Akimi. And uh, Arsenal can never give Bayern Munich a game in current form, playing like one of the best clubs in Europe, says Region. Well, maybe that's for February when we get to see Bayern Munich, because at the moment they're just playing in the league. They always win, aren't they? Right. Uh, as I said, we're going to break now. But this is the Mark Goldbridge show on Talk Sport with Corals free to play football super series. The big football game of the week just got better. You can play now at coral.co.uk. 18 plus be gambleaware.org. After the break, we're talking Manchester United, Chelsea, and a lot more. The Mark Goldberg Show.